We've spoken at length over the last few weeks about how retail locations, as we come into the holiday season, are having to be creative or think of ways to fill their seasonal hiring demand or seasonal hiring pipelines. You know, the Nordstroms, the Targets, the the Macy's, these stores that typically see a bunch of their the majority of their sales at the end of the year and rely on seasonal workers to get them through these busy periods, your Black Friday shopping period, your, your Christmas shopping period, um, are, are seeing increased difficulty this year as a function of the labor shortage. And so Macy's, of course, now is, is offering uh, something, you know, that they're, they're branding it as a valuable opportunity for their corporate workers, but they're asking corporate workers to voluntarily go in to the stores on the busy shopping days, Black Friday, other shopping days, uh, and and help out basically, uh, fold clothes, tidy dressing rooms, do the things that the seasonal workers in the past would would have done, and of course, you know, it, it it's on a company to do whatever it takes. I'd say to to make sure that you're able to service customers uh, when and where the customers come into your stores, and so this is a, an interesting. Uh, way that that Macy's is doing it by asking the corporate level staff to to come to the to the consumer facing areas of the business and then help out, and it, it speaks to uh, creativity definitely uh, at Macy's uh, to do this is the probably the first that I've seen of this at least announced that at a at a wide level, um, but it also speaks to how competitive it is right now uh, to to grab workers that won the seasonal. Uh, workers that, that you would need to, to get through this period. I mean, if you do a Google search right now um, for some for a search term, maybe like Macy seasonal hiring, chances are you're going to trigger, um, last I checked, I triggered a uh, an Amazon uh, ad that was right right in the right in the ad title was saying that okay you know Amazon's looking for seasonal workers and they're paying a three thousand dollar sign on bonus. Now for a seasonal worker, three thousand dollar kick plus whatever you would make working in the store is, is a lot of money. You know, I, I think the, you know, you're looking at seasonal workers here that are typically, I, I you know, college or you know, college students or, or part-time workers and stuff. And so that's a lot of money just to get through this holiday season. And so it's so competitive at the balance sheet level, of course. Um, and so corporations like Macy's that maybe don't have the employer brand strength of an Amazon or the balance sheet strength of an Amazon or a Walmart or even a Nordstrom, when you think about it, the employer brand and the attractiveness of the other brand and, and people wanting to work there are going to have to do things like this, take or, you know, entice corporate workers to come and work at the at the store level. Um, and naturally, of course, you're going to have to brand it as something valuable. But Macy's, of course, is, is trying to brand code this opportunity as, as valuable. And, you know, the corporate level workers can get a chance to understand what it's like to work on the, at the consumer facing side for a lot of um, actually, looking at a lot of the, the Macy's job descriptions, they like to sell the the fact that a lot of their uh, executives started uh, at the retail level for for Macy's, and so it's almost like a returning back to your roots kind of thing. Um, and so, the, you know, the it's still an uh, an interesting time when you think about uh, we're we're coming up into the end of the year, and and you know, again, we've talked at length about the these retailers and how many you know seasonal workers that they're going to need to hire. I mean. Last count or the last video we did on this, we were looking at just a handful, right? Like the Nordstroms, the uh, uh, some of the some of the larger retailers, and we had counted all the way up to about seven hundred thousand, just across maybe five or six companies. And and so it's still going to be an interesting thing to keep an eye on as we get closer and closer. But what you're going to find, I think, over the next few weeks, is that these stores that rely on seasonal workers aren't going to be able to get them. And uh, they're going to have to be creative about reallocating resources that they already have the organization, whether that's corporate staff, whether, you know, I don't know if, if uh, whether they're they're moving people to, to busier cities. And I, you know, there's different ways that you can get this done, um, but it's going to be a, 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 a real exercise in, in resource planning uh, rather than being able to attract the people that they need. Because it, as we've discussed for, for weeks and weeks, the individuals who've left the workforce through retirement, the individuals who've left the workforce through child care, uh, the, the individuals who've left the workforce through just the, the fact that they, they don't need to work right now. They've, they've maybe got enough in savings or, or things, you know, from, from the last 18 months uh, of not having to pay, you know, things like their mortgages or 
or their student loans. You, you know, it, it, I don't think that retailers are, are, are in a comfortable spot having to deal with increased demand on the customer side and, and you know, the, the attraction of being able to take in all this business with having to service customers. And it's just a, an awkward equation for the moment. So, um, you know, well, what do you think is going to happen at the retail front? I'd, I'd really love to know in the comments section below. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed the insights, please consider hitting the like, bu like button and then also subscribing to the channel just so you can get all these updates as they come out.